What's going on YouTube? Clayky's all back again and in today's video we're taking a look at the new hack and slash RPG game Grand Chase that just came out on mobile devices. Uh, I think it was yesterday. So uh, before we get this video started, I do need to mention it is sponsored by Grand Chase and COG. So thank you guys so much for sponsoring and letting me play, you know, more awesome games that I can bring to my audience and showcase them off and see if they like them. So Grand Chase is the sequel to the Grand Chase MMO-esque game that was out a few years back. Some people may have heard of it. Um, and this is going to be its direct sequel coming to mobile, which is pretty neat. I'm going to show you guys some gameplay in this game, show you guys some uh, how to en enhance your, uh, you know, your units, how you can obtain some of those units, and then also give my general thoughts on the game as I've played it for a couple of hours now, played it on stream, and I've been having quite some fun. So, first thing we're going to do is go to adventure mode, and this is pretty much going to be your story mode, where you're going to go in and uh, slowly advance the story and where it could go. The story in this game is actually really awesome uh, for the little bit I've had in it. You guys will see the art style in this game is absolutely ridiculous. So let's go ahead and get in this uh, battle here. Um, this is going to show off gameplay, but it may also show off some of the art style. There are manga type cutscenes. There are animated anime style cutscenes, which all make it really amazing. So we're going to go ahead and hit ready. <laughs> you normally are going to take in a group of four people to go in and battle. This is my group of four people. So we're going to go ahead and start the battle up. You can auto, which makes your uh, uh, units auto move. So that's going to be story. I don't want to spoil anything there. Um, or you can actually control them yourself. So we're going to control them ourselves here. Uh, let's see. So you guys can move around by tapping on the screen. It moves your group around. This is very important because... Uh, okay, there come the units. Because the units will follow you. So essentially you can make them group up into a group in front of you and then AOE them down. You can see that I have different abilities at the bottom that I can use. And these cost... Um, different types of uh, resource which you guys can gain if you guys look here in the center you can see where that five is going up that yellow bar that is what I'm gonna spend to be able to do my abilities other than that we're gonna be able to auto attacks so we're gonna go ahead and go this way and what I want to do here is get these guys oh man I'm getting hit by the down draft but I want to get these guys to kind of come at me and then I want to use all my abilities when they come close by tapping on it and tapping on the enemy and chaining it up and taking them down. I'm a little bit strong for this level. You know, I've been training, but uh, that's pretty much how the game is played uh, for the most part. You know, it's strategy-wise, use your abilities. There are other things you can do, too. So here, here they come. They're all around me. So what I want to kind of do is try to force my people to walk through them like that, and then I want to try to hit them. Like, right, I want to I want to take them, and I want to use all of my abilities that I can to kind of, like, burn them down. So we're going to go over here. We're going to do the same thing take them out like that and there are more coming so this is the strategy I've been using it's been working um, and you see the middle thing lighting up like that that means I have a like ultimate party ability that I can use which is useful um, when you kind of get stuck and you're in trouble there's a lot of enemies uh, grouped together you can use it on them and uh, be able to you know take them out so we have some enemies popping up I'm gonna group them up and I'm gonna show you guys the party skills so hold on let me get them over here here they come and there are bosses and stuff like this in game, so I'm going to drop that party skill and see how much it does AoE damage. And we build that up slowly by using abilities and spending, uh, see how I spend an ability, you see that little yellow thing go up. Uh, that's what's going to be used to be able to build that up. So, there are bosses and things like that in this game. Alright, this is a cutscene, all the bats running through me. Alright, here comes some more enemies, so I'm going to take them on by casting this. We have this ability we can cast here. Everybody has two abilities uh, that they can use in victory, so we ended up winning there. So... At the end of the screen, see, uh, you can see here that we have a bunch of different rewards we get from gems, which we use to summon, uh, to other things like that, which is pretty awesome. And then we can go to the next stage if we wanted to. If we go back, we can see that this is a boss stage right here, which means that we are going to be taking on a boss, but I'm going to save that for later uh, and do it off stream. So you guys can get, go through the story. You guys can see how the gameplay actually is, and it's quite addicting and fun. And then you can also, you can <laughs> auto it if you'd like, but autoing can sometimes lead you to uh, getting killed, so you got to be careful of that. Uh, when you first start out the game, guys, you guys are going to be able to summon uh, a S-rank 4-star unit, okay? You're going to have your choices, and if you look at my uh, party that I have here, my choice that I chose was Olivia. Olivia uh, was told to me by the devs to be extremely powerful. Not only is she awesome looking, but she also is an extremely powerful damage dealing unit that you guys can choose, so I would choose that. You guys also get a free 10 plus 1 pool that you guys can use. Uh, that's going to give you guys random stuff uh, that you guys can try to get a hold of. The one thing about this game that's pretty cool is they have lots of different ways to obtain their rarest uh, you know, units in the game, which are SR. And there are different ways you can do that. You can do that. You can do it through normal summoning. If we do go to the shop here and go to the summoning screen, if you guys summon 200 times, if you look at the end here, if we get 200 summons in through, you know, through the game, through earning summons, we're going to be able to summon an SR unit. And that's going to be an SR hero select ticket. So we're going to be able to pick which SR we want. And if you guys end up getting that, I've heard that last 
is extremely powerful. You guys are going to be willing to look out for him there. You guys can get an SR there. Uh, if you guys join a guild, there is some... Uh, there is an SR uh, ability that you guys can get it from in there. There are treasure chests that SRs can pop out of. There's special like crystal chests. There's an event going on right now where there's like this open board that you can see right here. Somewhere in this open board, uh, you know, this like raffle looking board here, this random board is an SR. And I do look, it does look like I've done something to be able to obtain another roll on it. So I go here, I'm going to hit random. Okay, so we got we got a material there, but that's okay. I need all this stuff starting out in the game. But there is an SR in there somewhere that you guys can get. That's another way to get a uh, one of the best units in the game. And then there are two other ways. One for the login bonus. If you look at the end here, if you log in for 28 straight days, you guys are going to pick up an SR. And then there's another one with the level up adventure. Um, if you guys get to 7-9, which is Storyline 7, World 7, uh, Level 9, you guys are also going to get a uh, SR Hero Select ticket. So there are tons of ways to earn your free units in the game and be able to get what you want and start uh, raising up your units. What, uh, let's talk about something else I really wanted to see in this game. Oh yeah, how to actually make your units better. And this is one of the coolest things I think I've found in this game. If we go and go to Party... And we go to, uh, let's go to manage our uh, Olivia here. Her Olivia. There are different things you could do. You could prestige, awakening. Now, I haven't gotten to those, but the first ones are upgrade or evolve. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to go to upgrade. Upgrade is essentially leveling up your unit. Uh, it does it differently. Instead of using experience, you have to feed monster cards into your unit. So you can see here that if I feed this monster card, these are all one stars. It gives you a percentage chance to actually... Um, grow your hero and upgrade them so if we go back again i need to do um six of nine i need to get three more if we go ahead and go over to uh hero growth and we go to upgrade again this is going to give me a 10 percent shot of getting one of those upgrades which is going to be very important okay so i'm going to try to do that right now i'm going to go ahead and upgrade hero it failed it was only 10 percent these monster cards can be uh got throughout the game through treasure chests etc or you can actually do a summoning for them which is going to be very useful uh, the next thing you guys could do is actually evolve your heroes, and this is where I think it's really awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and go to my shark dude here. We're gonna manage him. We could, he's my tank unit. There, there's different types of units in the game. Tank, healer, ranger, mage, and uh, damage dealer with the sword, like so melee. You can see that I need six. Uh, you know, he needs to level up six times to be able to get the upgrade complete, so we're gonna go ahead and try to pop that off now. I don't know if I'm gonna get lucky enough, because these are 10%. Let's see if I can do that. Alright. Upgrade hero. Let's see if we get lucky. Hey, we got one, so we got one. Um, however, I didn't get the six that I needed to be able to evolve him, but when you guys evolve a unit, they actually change, they change, they look different. For example, my, uh, let's see, let's go look at my uh, Olivia right here. The Olivia shows blonde hair in her normal picture, but it's weird because if you look here, she has blue hair. When I first got her before evolving her the first time, she had pink hair. So they, they do change the way they look, they do change the way they, uh, they, they, actually look in the game and their appearance, which is very cool. I, I think it's amazing. I love in games when they actually do something like that. So that's something to look forward to as well. Um, you also have hero training, essentially, again, the classes I told you about. Assault hero, ranger hero, tank hero, healer hero, and mage hero. Uh, this gives stats to those specific, like bonus stats to those specific uh, units uh, if they fall in that category of their job. And you can level them up by collecting Blessings of Valor and then spending your gold, which they give you a lot of gold to start out with. I still have 2.3 million, so you guys want to get in there and get on that now. Next up, remember those party skills? You guys can actually get more than one. Right now, I have two. I have a Healing Touch I could choose, or I have Light's Judgment. Now, these can actually be leveled up. Now, I need to get to level 7 to be able to level that up, level 8 to level that up. But you can actually, you know, put some uh, time, some research into them, level them up, make them stronger. And you can even learn different ones. So, in Account 7, I'm going to be able to research into that. Uh, then we have party passives we can unlock, but that's going to take a bit. Defenders passives. We have defense, which we can worry about. All kinds of different things you guys could do to upgrade your heroes. And then there's also this. Let's go to. Let's go here. Let's go to my. Uh, let's go back to my Olivia, which is like my favorite unit. And then let's see. Let's go to. Is it manage? Yeah, manage. So this is where you guys are going to actually be able to put equipment on. And the equipment is gained throughout the game by playing different chest drops and etc. You guys know the drill. But you guys, can, I, I don't even have equipment yet. I haven't played enough to get this, all this other equipment I could put on her. But different units use different. And I think it's job by job class. You can see the little sword down there has that little red sword. And she also has a little red sword. I think that means that's her job class. So uh, she can equip that if that's there. Because if we go look at my shark, my shark tank, which I think is amazing. Uh... He can only have the ones that have the shield on it, and it looks like I haven't acquired any other equipment to be able to do the shield. And so forth and so on. You can see my team has a mage, um, has a physical damage dealer, has a healer, which is the sheep they give you at the beginning of the game. No, I wasn't lucky enough to get another one. And then we have the shark here that I'm using as my tank. Uh, they're all. You can see I have all kinds of different ones collected. Very excited to see even more of them because they all look very unique. 
and amazing. Uh, another, uh, they also have this, I haven't even gotten half of this unlocked, but I've gotten to the Trial Tower, which essentially is a tower that you guys can build up to, get better rewards. If you click on it, you can see first-time rewards. You also get a little treasure chest right here. This treasure chest is going to give you a random reward once you clear it, uh, which is pretty nice. Uh, we can go here and I'll show you guys how this exactly works. What's my BP right now? Let's go see. I'm at 14,000, so I may lose this. Essentially, this is like an arena. We go in and clear it. If we clear it, we get first time rewards and we get that little treasure chest. So let's go see if I can take this on. Um, I may lose, but I'll try to show you guys how I play. Oh gosh, there's a big bear in the middle. I'm not, there. there's bosses on this one. Okay, normally they're just little enemies. I'm not used to there being big bosses here. Okay, well, so what we're gonna do is tap in, try to drag him in. No, 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 run away, run away, run away. Come over here. So we're gonna try to drag him over here so they don't, uh, you know, provoke the rest of them or pull the rest of them while I try to take them on while they're all grouped up. Now, this could be very tough, so I'm going to be standing, uh, paying attention to my cooldowns, allowing myself to uh, use my AoE ones and not get hurt too bad. Okay, so I have a party ability. I'm going to use the one that does damage, so I'm going to put that AoE there to make sure I'm hitting all of them. Oh my gosh, my shark guy took so much damage. Oh, my shark guy's dying, dude. My shark guy's dying. This is tough. This is tough. All right, there we go. Oh my gosh, my shark guy's so low. Hopefully that puts a shield on him. Okay, the next boss is here, and it's one of the main characters. And my shark guy is dead. All right, this one might have been a little too tough for me right now. Oh, no. Oh, no. Run. Run. We did pull this side, right? Okay, we can run to this side. All right, heal up. Heal up. Come on. I need a better healer. I pulled the middle guy. I forgot there was a middle guy. Here, put the healing on us. Okay, we're healing up a little bit. I, I don't think we're going to win this one, guys. Okay. I'm going to let this one go. But you get the point of it. This is challenging tower of trialness. I'm just not strong enough yet to be able to fight this one. I cleared the other ones easy. I thought I'd go in here and show you guys how to wreck it. But you can see what the strategy basically is. You need to make sure you save some of your SP, which are your skill points, to be able to use the ones you may need. Uh, and then you want to group them up. Dude, my Olivia's just... My Olivia won't... Here, I'll put her on auto. My Olivia's not going to give up. She's like doing... She's doing work, dude. Can the Olivia... Can Olivia single-handedly win this for me? I don't think so. We'll see, though. Wow. Okay, maybe she can. How did she get so strong? Oh, do you see how Olivia's portrait is kind of like glowing blue right there? That's important. That means she has a special ability that she can use, um, which means I have to hit that ability and then hit a target. So watch this. I'll pull these. Come here. Come here. Come over here. Maybe Olivia can pull this off. That'd be crazy. Come here. If I click her and then I click one of the things, they do a special ability uh, that does a lot of damage. You can see that it just wiped out all of them. Olivia, this is why you guys got to pick Olivia. You guys have to. She's too strong. Okay, no, 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 don't pull the other side. Yeah, go over here. Kill these guys. I have spent the most into her. I'm going to save that uh, party skill until I get to the other guys. Wow, dude. I thought I was going to die for sure. All right, now she's just autoing them. Was that the last dude? Is he blowing up? No, it wasn't the last dude. It was the last dude. We won. <laughs> oh, man. And you can see that we got so much stuff. Here are some of those monster cards I was talking about that you guys confuse into your units. We actually got six of those. Wow. Um... We got a couple of uh, premium hero summon tickets, so they'll be B rank to A rank. Remember, S rank, SR rank, those are two of the highest ones. And we can hit exit, and since we got those, we can go ahead and go up into our um, our little mailbox here. And we can hit receive, and so we got Modern Henry, oh boy, three-star B rank, Ranger, and another Modern Henry. Dude, he gave me back-to-back -back Modern Henrys. Come on, man. That was pretty cool, though. I cannot believe Olivia did that on her own. But you can see there are all kinds of different stuff we can get into here. Uh, there's PvP in the game, which looks like uh, I unlocked that after I clear stage uh, World 3, Stage 9. You can see that right here. Uh, so that's going to be interesting to try that out as well. But that's pretty much all I wanted to cover in my first video for uh, this game. So I want to thank you again, Grand Chase, for sponsoring the video along with COG. You guys are amazing. Thanks for letting me put this on my channel. If you guys are inter interested in Grand Chase and want to download it yourself, look for the description uh, below for the link. You guys can click that. Get to download it. Get, get to playing Grand Chase and having some fun. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you're playing and if you picked Olivia or somebody else because Olivia's OP. Did you guys get an SR? Give me some of them SRs. And then subscribe for future content. We'll catch you guys in the next video.